Oh yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Inside Out Precision. In today's video, we're going to be covering sights with dovetails or dovetailed sight. So in case you're unfamiliar with what that is, the dovetail is this bar on a site. Um, and there's a lot of sites being made with these now, and it allows you to run the site in and out, so closer or further away from your bow. Now there's pros and cons to having the site closer or further away from your bow, so I'm gonna kinda go over what those are, and hopefully that'll make you uh, have a, a better feel for what is gonna work best for you. So what running the site really close to my bow will do is First and foremost is it, it brings the gap between my pins together. Um, it will also give me more range. So all these sights are going to have some sort of, of sight tape on them, generally speaking. And the closer my sight is to my bow, the more range I'm going to get out of my sights and the smaller the gap between my pins will be. So especially people that have a short draw length uh, or they're pulling low poundage, generally they're going to run that sight closer to their bow just so they can get, get a little more yardage out of their sight. Another thing it will do is it will help, if you're running a really large peep sight, it will help fill up your peep sight a little bit more. Now I would prefer that you adjust the peep size to fit your housing, uh, no matter where it is, but like I said, if you're running a really large peep sight and your sight is out a little ways and there's too much daylight, you can run that sight in a little bit more. One downside to having your sight really close to the bow is that the adjustments on here, so like my windage and my elevation, the, the same amount of clicks will move my point of impact further. So, meaning, let's say I'm on the right side of the X, you know, at, at 20 yards, and I give it three clicks, it might move it all the way to the, the left side of the X or, or even out of the X. Um, you know, that's not a huge deal. Most of these have such fine micro adjustments that you're gonna be able to get it in the middle pretty much no matter what. Uh, but it's, it's just something to think about. Um, Running it further away from your bow, um, it's a pretty popular trend right now, and it's not a bad thing by any means, but I think it's for a little bit more advanced shooters. And the reason I say that is that when I adjust this out away from my bow all the way, even though I may not be holding any less steady, because it's further away from the bow, I'm going to see more pin movement than I would if it's up close to my bow. So. That can be both a blessing and a curse. If you're a really experienced shooter, you might want that feedback. You might say, oh man, I'm really not holding as well today. I need to get you know, into that back wall more, or you know, I need to play with my stabilizer weights a little more. So it gives you more feedback, but if you're a new shooter, that pin's gonna appear to be bouncing all over the place and it might breed some target panic, which I've gone over in, in earlier videos. So if you're a newer shooter, maybe try running a little bit closer for a while till you start you know, feeling like you're holding really steady and then you can start working it out. Um, you'll also hear a lot of guys say that it's more precise when it's further away from the bow. And what they're meaning is what I was just, just talking about, how up close, you know, two clicks will move your sight a lot. Well, when it's way out there, the same amount of clicks will move my sight my, or my point of impact less. So it's a little more precise in adjustment. I'm not gonna say it, it's not gonna make your bow more accurate, but it will be more precise in adjustment. So that can be a, a really nice thing. If you shoot a lot and you, know, you want a site where let's say you're shooting 85 yards and everything is just consistently you know, like a half inch to the right, it'd be nice to be able to just give it one or two clicks and bring it right into the middle. Whereas if you're at that distance and it's all the way close to your bow, those one or two clicks might take you all the way to the other side of the dot. So there's, that's something to consider. Um, again, like I mentioned, the further I get that sight out there, the larger the gap between my pins is going to be. So if you're shooting a single pin, that may not be a bad thing because when you're looking at your sight tape, you know, it's a lot easier to, to make an adjustment but like one or two yards when those lines are a little further apart, whereas when they're all you know crammed together, especially the, the shorter yardages, um, you know the distance between 30 and 35 is just a tiny little bit, and it's it's going to not have as precise of an adjustment when those lines are all crammed together. So again, back comes back to the, the precision of adjustment. Um, another thing with running it all the way out, and you know this site is a little bit different than most in that all the adjustments are up by the head of the site. Uh, because of that, when I get it further out, it's gonna put more front weight on my bow, almost like adding more weight to my, my front stabilizer. So 
if you already have a ton of front weight and then you run your sight all the way out there, you may see that when you shoot, your bow just wants to dip forward. It feels a little top heavy. So you might need to play with your stabilizer a little bit. Um, I generally, like I shoot a fast eddy. I actually run it, I run it two, two on the, the second dot from, so you can see these little dots on top here. I, I have it so that I can see the first two. So it's, it's on the third dot in from the end. Uh, it just seems to be a, a good spot for me. Um, another thing that when your sight is all the way out, and I, I really wanna make sure you guys get this, is that because it's so far out, a little bit of torque in my hand is gonna move that pin further on the target relative to, to where I'm aiming. So again, if you're, if you're a new shooter, you know, and your grip isn't really consistent, if your sight's all the way out, you're gonna see a bigger shift in your point of impact than if your sight was all the way in. Personally, I like a little bit of feedback. You know, if I feel like the pin was in the middle and I'm making good shots, you know, release was clean and all that, but I'm, I'm getting this right left, you know, could be that my grip is not being real consistent. I just need to focus on that for a couple shots until I get them back in the middle. So again, everything kind of gets magnified when your sight is further away from you. Um, Hence, that's why you see some of these pro shooters like Sarah Lopez, she runs the nine inch bar all the way out. Now she's an absolute machine, so she wants that feedback. If she's doing something wrong, she wants her site to tell her that. So again, it's gonna be a really personal thing. Um, I don't think there's any right or wrong way. You know, most people, if they're shooting 80 yards and they've got four arrows in the, just in the spot in general, they're, they're not gonna be making any adjustments. They're gonna be stoked that they're even hitting what they're shooting at at that distance and they're just gonna leave it be. But for the guys that are really picky and you know, they're, they really want that adjustment, having that bar out there a little bit is gonna give them that precise adjustment. So that's my take on the dovetails. There's a lot of different models out there. Like I said, most of them are gonna have either a four or a six inch bar on them. Uh, I don't really see a huge difference, you know, between like one or two dots. I'm not, I don't, I don't see it, but you can definitely tell the difference you know, if you have your sight all the way out and you run it all the way up close to your bow and then shoot the same yardage, depending on how far you're shooting, you know, at 20 yards, you're probably gonna hit two to three and a half inches high. At 80 yards, you're gonna hit like two feet high. So again, you're gonna get a lot more yardage out of your sight by running it close. But uh, lots of different sights on the market, lots of different opinions on that. That's just my opinion. I install a lot of these. I get asked a lot about it. So I thought I'd make a little video and give you my take on it. So. As usual, if you have any more questions, uh, please feel free to reach out, hit the comment section below, or hit us up on Instagram at inside underscore out underscore precision. Until next time though, just keep them in the middle and remember, precision is a decision.